It's the thing everybody in travel has been talking about. Mobile messaging as the next great breakthrough. Media are writing about it with increasing frequency. One startup investor even hailed messaging-based travel planners as the ultimate OTA killer. But will messaging really redefine the travel planning and booking experience? Now, there are certainly plenty of startups having a go at it. By my count, at least 14. And there are a number of established companies, such as Kayak, Skyscan, or Expedia, even Google, who are dipping their toes into travel-related chatbots. And there are a lot of differences among these mobile messaging travel planners, such as the travel segments they focus on, the business models, the extent to which their conversational UI is powered by algorithms, humans, or a blend of both. But all seem to be placing a big bet that travelers will welcome a conversational user experience offering a curated set of options rather than a more comprehensive list. Now, this would represent a big shift in how travelers search for and book flights, accommodation, and other travel. Indeed, it's counter to the long-standing conventional wisdom in online travel that more is better. Right? Travelers gravitate to those marketplaces that promise more. More accommodations, more reviews, more everything. But do travelers really want less, fewer options? And do they want to arrive at those options through chat? Well, there's no question that messaging is huge and only getting bigger. But for travel commerce, there are still a lot of questions. Will travelers really swap this for this? In fact, travelers still seem to want more information, not less. Four in five travelers usually shop multiple websites when planning trips, and 70% say they enjoy the process of trip planning. And what about those of us who take lots of trips? Indeed, it's those frequent travelers who are a key market for most of those chat-based mobile travel planners. But really, there's not that many of us, those frequent travelers. Just one in 10 leisure travelers and one in four business travelers take six or more trips a year. And interestingly, those more frequent travelers, they seem to want more information, not less. They are more likely to shop more when planning their trips. Now, it's still incredibly early for conversational commerce and travel. But while a lot of the focus has been on this new approach to a consumer UI, I actually want to highlight three other areas where I think some of these startups could, in fact, have a pretty significant impact. The first, AI for personalization and travel. Several of these startups are building technology to automate some of the functions for their human agents and also power some of those personalized results, some of those curated set of options. That tech could drive innovation and personalization in travel that so many of us have been waiting for for so long. The second area is in traditional travel agencies. That tech could also be broadly applicable to travel agencies both on the leisure and the corporate side and could fuel new standards in agent productivity as well as customer service. And the third area is membership and loyalty. Some of these startups are rethinking the idea of rewards programs and perhaps one or more will introduce some innovation around the value of membership and convince a new generation of mobile-centric travelers to pay for more service, more perks, as well as travel planning through mobile. Now, whether mobile messaging will revolutionize online travel planning or simply be another necessary add-on for all companies in the travel search shop by process, the potential impact of the innovation that's currently underway will extend well beyond just a text, a chat, or a bot.